Channel 8 at 5.30. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Lee. And I'm Josh Benson. Thanks for being with us tonight. We're on top of some developments and breaking news right now. Two people were shot at a business in Mulberry. Now, we just learned the name of the suspect. This is just into our newsroom. He is 39-year-old Danny Coleman Thompson of Lakeland. And that is a picture of the truck he's believed to be driving, a 2006 Ford F-150. This is a very active scene we're talking about right now. News Channel 8's Mary McGuire is gathering details for us. Mary, what new have you learned so far? Well, Polk County Sheriff's deputies are asking for your help in locating the suspect in this alleged shooting that took place at this business behind me. It's called MESGCI, and it's located at 2360 Old Highway 60 in Mulberry. Now, he is believed to be driving a 2006 Ford F-150 Super Crew Cab with a Florida tag 2126PD, and we actually just spoke with one nearby business owner who said he heard five shots ring out. From what they were telling me, the guy that did the shooting was supposedly an ex-employee and he came in earlier today and was asking for certain people and the guy that was there said nobody else was there. So he left and he came back later and that's when he started shooting. Now, according to Polk County officials, there are two victims in this alleged shooting. They were both transported by emergency medical crews, but they are injured, not killed. We have confirmed that, and I'm working to gather more information. It's just a very active scene right now, and I'll have more updates coming up at 6. All right, Mary, uh, thanks so much for that update. The situation that's unfolding, we'll check back with you later. We appreciate it. Now for some developments in this story and breaking news alerts to your phone. You can always get the latest by downloading the free News Channel 8 app. Planned Parenthood offices across Florida are getting surprise visits from the state. It is part of a plan by the governor to investigate the organization after controversial video surfaced from an anti-abortion group. News Channel 8's Lauren Meg joins us now live. Lauren, bring us up to speed. Good evening, Jen and Josh. Now, this clinic right here in Tampa and 15 others will all get visits from the Agency for Healthcare Administration. And on top of that, if you wanted information from Planned Parenthood today, you might have noticed their website looked a little different. Planned Parenthood called it an attack, blaming hackers for bringing down their site. It's more controversy for the organization offering health services to women. It's been years since I've talked about compensation. So These undercover videos still causing a stir over how organs from aborted fetuses are used. Now Florida's governor wants an investigation. I think anybody that's looked at those uh, videos says it's disturbing, troubling. Uh, my expectation is every health care organization in our state is complying with the law. The governor's asking state health care workers to visit and evaluate Planned Parenthood offices offering abortions. Aside from those videos, have you seen or heard anything regarding uh, facilities in Florida that concerns you? Well, the, what I saw was those videos, which are disturbing. That's why, that's why I asked Aka to do it. Congresswoman Kathy Castor tells me it's about politics. It's another example of Governor Scott wasting our tax dollars with a frivolous investigation that's totally uh, motivated by politics and not the facts. Planned Parenthood sent a statement saying, quote, these political attacks claiming that Planned Parenthood profits in any way from tissue donation are simply not true. While we do not have donations programs in Florida, some Planned Parenthood organizations in other states do, and they follow all laws and ethical guidelines. So why do we just have a statement from Planned Parenthood? Well, they are not talking on camera about it. I started contacting them early this morning about the governor's order, asking them about it, asking for someone to talk to, and they basically told me this is their public relations strategy at this point, not doing any interviews about it. Jen? Interesting choice. Lauren Make, live for us tonight in Tampa. Thank you. Well, it's an old building in really bad shape sitting in the middle of downtown Tampa. It's called the Jackson House, and today there was a major step forward. Tonight, News Channel 8's Rod Carter joins us with new information about plans to repair it. Rod? Hey, good evening, guys. The Jackson House is the last iconic historical building in what was a thriving African-American business district near downtown. For years, this building has sat in disrepair as the family who owns it searched for a way to restore it. Well, today, a first real move in making that restoration happen. From above, it looks like a place that should just be torn down. A dilapidated two-story eyesore in the midst of an urban jungle. Stopped it, I dropped it. 
But the history in this century-old structure off Zach Street in downtown Tampa, something that can never be replaced. For my growing up, my mother said Billy Holiday, Duke Ellington, Ella Fitzgerald, Count Basie, as well as Dr. Martin Luther King stayed here. Willie Robinson knows it very well. This is the Jackson House, built by his grandparents in the early 1900s. It started as a family home, but soon became a boarding house, the only place African-American entertainers could stay when in town. For years now, it's been in serious disrepair, and for years, there's been a financial struggle to fix it. Well, now things are looking up. That face, we have funding uh, for. We're very fortunate. And with the help of the NAACP leaders like Dr. Carolyn Collins and others in the city, next week work is set to begin on shoring up this property. Phase one is we want to get the house strong. We want to put the steel beams from the bottom underneath the house all the way up to the roof and then redo a different rooftop it so it'll be prepared for any kind of inclement weather at all. Uh, that phase uh, is an important phase because we can't move forward. 50000 of the $64,000 bill for that came from Lightning owner Jeff Vinnick. I'm very elated uh, not only for me but for the community of uh, Tampa, Florida. And uh, just about, uh, it's been a journey. It's a journey through history. My history is wrapped up into that building and on this street. For an entire community. And all Robinson tells me it's going to take about $2 million to fully restore the Jackson House. And in the end, they're hoping that can be a destination for people in the city and people who come to visit the city of Tampa to learn a lot more about Tampa's African-American history and musical roots. Josh? Yeah, that is some amazing history to uh, hear about. Incredible yeah. to hear the people that stayed there. Good to work on it. Yeah. Thanks, Rod. All right. Celebrities are using humor to take a stand on one of today's top stories. I won't be able to play Frisbee with my sons because there won't even be a Frisbee. The Frisbee will be melted. We will be melted. Coming up after the break, what they hope to accomplish with this new video. Then... Oh! Ooh, with the bars. Wow. She oh. was in a mood. She oh. made... When, uh, Jeez Louise. Oh boy, what these anchors said to a Hollywood star that ended that interview on live TV. We come back. It's going to really boggle, think, boggle things up. Big changes in store for Channel Side. Construction work is being fast tracked. Eight on Your Side shows you what that will mean for everyone living, working, or visiting downtown Tampa. Coming up at six. Prayer in school. Let's talk there about it. There is prayer in school. The Jews or the Muslims. Well, I would put them in a separate room that was equally as nice because. Oh! The Carmichael Show premieres Wednesday, August 26th on NBC. At Mosaic, knowing more about nature makes us better at our job. Our job? Plant millions of trees, conserve and recycle water, and make clean, renewable energy. What we've learned, we also teach. The Mosaic Coastal Education Center teaches local students the importance of the environment. And how to protect it. Mosaic, workplace for today's ecologists. Classroom for tomorrow's. Our delivery trucks are ready to hit the road for Ashley Furniture Home Store's National Sale and Clearance Event. A $500 million inventory blowout. Save up to 70% on select items store-wide. Get incredibly low prices on sofas, dining rooms, recliners, and queen beds, all starting at just $299. Plus, get no interest for three years. Also save up to $1,000 on Sealy Posturepedic and Simmons Beautyrest Pillow Top Mattresses. Hurry in. Ashley Furniture Home Store. This is home. Shop now at ashleyfurniturehomestore.com. It is a wonderful, wonderful feeling when you know that you were able to help somebody. My name is Timmy Royer, and I graduated from Kaiser University. I am the clinical supervisor here at the Orthopedic Clinic of Daytona Beach. I have a wonderful team. I typically hire Kaiser University graduates. My favorite part of Kaiser University was getting great experience before you start working in your field. Kaiser University helped me prepare for my future. Is your roof storm season ready? Call the experts at Parliament Roofing for quality roof replacement at a price you can afford. They install shingle, tile, and metal roofs and insulated roofs for flat roofs and mobile homes. Parliament makes it easy with next day installation, lifetime warranty, no money down, in-house no-hassle financing, and easy monthly payments. For a limited time, get $500 off your new roof. Go to ParliamentRoofing.com today to get a quick and easy estimate. Nobody puts a quality roof on for less. Nobody. 
Closed captioning brought to you by the personal injury lawyers at the Fernandez Firm. Car accident? Call the Fernandez Firm. We don't get paid unless we win, and we want to win. Full of lies. That's what a representative for Ben Affleck is calling an Us Weekly article about the actor dating his kid's nanny. Now he may be taking legal action against the tabloid. Us Weekly reported it happened following the breakdown of his marriage to actress Jennifer Garner. And an awkward television appearance for actress Cara Delevingne. Now people are hating on a group of news anchors from Sacramento. I saw you in London talking a couple weeks ago on TV, and you seemed a lot more excited about it than you do right now. Are you just exhausted? Oh, uh, no. I mean, I'm still very excited. I'm, you know, the premiere was last night. It was an emotional, it was an emotional night. It felt like the end of an era, but I'm not any less excited than I was a couple of weeks ago. Oh, you, you... Maybe I had a bit more energy. It's the morning. <laughs> <laughs> you, do, you, seem, you do seem a bit, a bit irritated. Perhaps it's just us. No, no, I think it's just you. I think it probably is us. Yeah. Yeah. Well, then on that note... We figured as much. We figured as much. We'll let you go then. How about that? Right. We'll let you go take a little nap, maybe get a Red Bull. How about that? <laughs> Cara Delevingne, thank you. Yow. Wow. Yikes. The anchors went on to slam the actress for not giving them enough. Oh. Oh. That's Tough pretty crowd. bold. Yeah. Well, a superstar team, including Morgan Freeman and Jack Black, share their funny yet serious thoughts on the Iran nuclear deal. Super dead. Like totally fried by a major nuclear bomb dead. I won't be able to play Frisbee with my sons because there won't even be a Frisbee. The Frisbee will be melted. We will be melted. Or worse. There you go, the anti-nuclear group put out that video. Hmm. Pretty bold there, too. Well, are you looking for a good reason to just get outside this summer? Yeah, yeah. the sun. Coming up after the break, our great summer getaway explores the Whedon Island Preserve. It would be nice to see the sun come back for at least a couple of minutes anyway, but it looks like the forecast is going to continue to call for lots of moisture, higher rain chances. We'll have that forecast and look ahead to your weekend coming up. During the Rooms to Go summer sale and clearance, look what you can get for just $699. Your choice of these great sofa and love seat sets. That's sofa and love seat just $699. Now, during the Rooms to Go summer sale and clearance. I do. Who says a I pool do. can't be in the sky? I do it Who says a living room do. can't be in a pool? I Who says a five star luxury vacation can't be all inclusive? Sandals La Source Grenada takes innovations beyond the realm of imagination. Experience the sandals of tomorrow today. Call 1-800-SANDALS. I'm Jeff of AARP here at beautiful Sunken Gardens to make some noise about all the real possibilities we're creating right here in our community. Because if you don't think real possibilities in Tampa Bay when you think AARP, then you don't know art. We're hosting fun local meetups, connecting with you at discounted events and activities around town, helping people figure out what's next with Life Reimagined, and making our community a better place to live, work, and play. Get to know us at aarp.org slash Tampa Bay. Nice. Chevy's got three great deals to choose from this summer. Which works the best with your budget? I'm drawn to the 0%. thousand dollars cash back. I've never ever thought about leasing a car until I saw that deal. Now let me tell you something that's super cool. You can choose any one of these deals on any of these cars. Seriously? <laughs> Find your tag, choose your deal. Get $4,000 total cash allowance on select Malibu vehicles in stock. Or get 0% APR financing. See your Southern Chevy dealers. Jeffy1016 posted, Worked hard, promotion, time to play hard. Hashtag, upgrade my car. Congrats, Jeffy. Now's the time to hit the Honda Summer Clearance event. You can get a great deal on the Honda Accord from KBB.com's best overall brand. With rear view camera and text message reader standard, it's the perfect upgrade. Awesome. Go, Jeffy. Go, Jeffy. Hurry in to the Honda Summer Clearance event for a great deal on your new Honda. During the Rooms to Go Summer Sale and Clearance, get our lowest price ever on this comfortable Kingsdown San Simeon two-piece queen mattress set. Now just $8.47. You save over $1,000. Now during the Rooms to Go Summer Sale and Clearance. Right now, athletes from the Bay Area are competing at the Special Olympics in Los Angeles. Stacey Scheibel joins us now with 
how they're doing so far. Thanks, Jen. They are getting gold medals and breaking records as they compete against 6,500 athletes from 165 countries. Pasco County Schools posted this video of the Land O'Lakes special team. Kansas City Chiefs running back Jamal Charles gave an inspiring speech as he delivered the athlete's oath. Before I had the chance to become a professional athlete, all pro, running back, in the NFL for the Kansas City Chiefs. Before all those wonderful moments, I was afraid. I was lost. When I was a boy, I had trouble reading. I found out I had learning disability. People made fun of me. They said I would never go anywhere. But I learned I can fly. When he was just 10 years old, Charles won a gold medal in track and field at the Special Olympics. That big win old, put him on track to the to NFL. The now, the World Games continue through August 2nd, and until then, we want to send congratulations and good luck to all of our hometown athletes. Josh? All right, good luck to them. Well, whether you're a fan of land or water, it's a great summer getaway that has you covered. News Channel 8's Adrian Pedersen takes us to Pinellas County. There is so much to explore out here at the Whedon Island Preserve. There's really something for everyone in the family. It's so pretty to see all the wildlife and the boardwalks they have are really nice. So Tarpon Springs High School student Carrie the... Gallagher could be doing anything this summer. I just really like how it all interacts with each other and it they all depend on each other. She's choosing to be here at Whedon Island Preserve, learning about nature with other students, including her sister. I'm interested in like the marine science field and environment, so I thought this would be a good start to see if I was something, this was something I wanted to do in the future. There's about 4,000 acres of preserve out here, um, so you'll go through a variety of ecosystems from mangroves to scrub, uh, pine flatwoods, so you go through quite a Quite a few changes in, in terrain. You can either hit the more than five miles of hiking trails alone or use a guide. When it gets too hot, rent a kayak. <laughs> there is also an education center that illustrates the history of the land. And it gives you a little break in the shade. And before you head out here, don't dress like I am. Make sure you have a hat, sunscreen, and plenty of water because, of course, over the summer, it can get pretty hot. I'm Adrian Pedersen, News Channel 8. Well, this great summer getaway is free, and you can rent a single kayak for $17 an hour or double for 25 bucks. It is hard to believe summer break is almost over. Sorry, kids. But that means great deals on school supplies. The back to school sales tax holiday starts Friday, August 7th. WFLA.com has a list of all the tax exempt items for you. And News Channel 8 is your back to school headquarters for the entire month of August, beginning Monday. Tune in at 6 a.m. every day for everything you need to know. How dark skies out at the beach at the lows down Cesar. You can see it's 83 degrees. A few showers continue to come on shore into Pinellas County. We have a very dark clouds as well at Freedom Plaza here in Sun City Center. You can see the landscape there. 79 degrees, about 16 one hundredths in the way of precip at this location with a southeasterly wind. And a little bit farther south of this location, southern part of Manatee County at the Lake Club and Lakewood Ranch, 86 degrees. Bit of a breeze at the moment with southwest winds. Picking up a little bit of precip, more still possible. Great rain shaft picked up by Paul Lamison here from the Eagle earlier today. Just great shot by Paul. And that's what we've been dealing with. These occasional showers. There's one in the distance as well. Just kind of rolling along in that westerly flow that we definitely know is here. This southwest wind, this morning and early afternoon activity, coastal showers and storms moving inland as the day goes along. That trend will continue. It's a very persistent pattern. Sometimes we get in weather patterns that will last for a month, sometimes longer. And that's the one we're in at the moment. It looks like this one will persist. This pattern won't change probably until next week brief but even then we may just back right back into it once again so this has kind of been the norm of late showers and a few thunderstorms a lot of activity over on the east coast you can see the activity here still stretching out off the citrus and hernando county coastline just a good indication of instability in the atmosphere deep deep atmospheric moisture a lot of water in the air essentially that can be turned into rain and the folks know all about that where it's raining right in that area the flood advisory around elfers and the anclote river should uh, go below flood stage sometime tomorrow morning 
morning. Right now, Pinellas County is seeing a good round of rain, as we saw from the cameras coming into Pinellas, right into uh, Clearwater, all the way down to just north of downtown St. Petersburg. Looks like through Pinellas Park, some pretty good downpours. That's all kind of marching toward the downtown Tampa area. A few showers off of uh, uh, Bradenton area, Manatee County off to the west, but relatively quiet inland Polk County. But it's really the thunderstorms that are off to the east that are the strongest across the peninsula now. Download the Storm Teammate Weather Max app. Very handy in this kind of weather to have the radar and other advisories and all kinds of tropical stuff with you as you go on your phone. 7 a.m., 77 degrees, 87 degrees at 4 p.m. in the forecast for tomorrow. 86 at the airport in Tampa. It's 86 as well in St. Pete, but a very high dew point with this westerly flow. That area of low pressure, about a 10% chance is the Hurricane Center for possible development. It would move to the northeast, but we still have a lot of moisture across the peninsula, even though that low is helping to drag some dry air high above in the atmosphere. We'll continue to watch closer to Africa, about a 30% chance of possible development for this area. Got a lot of dry air on ahead of it, uh, the Saharan air layer, and also a cooler Atlantic sea surface temperatures and of course the strengthening El Nino providing a lot of wind shear to the atmosphere. Going to have a tough environment but still it's the time of year we tend to look off toward Africa. There's where we tend to look for the next seven days. About the same certainly for the short term. Upper 80s, lots of clouds around, higher rain chances and morning showers possible certainly for the next couple of days. Guys? All right, thank you very much, Steve. Well, a man spotted a drone hovering in his yard right above his daughter's, so he shot it down. Well, we don't know what these people are doing. We don't know if they're pedophiles looking for kids. We don't know if they're thieves. We don't know if it's ISIS. Coming up after the break, why he is the one getting arrested. Storm Team 8 weather brought to you by Gold and Diamond Source. It's going to really boggle, think, boggle things up. Big changes in store for Channel Side. Construction work is being fast tracked. Eight on Your Side shows you what that will mean for everyone living, working, or visiting downtown Tampa. Coming up at six. During your breakfast, before your morning run, while walking the family dog. Every 10 minutes, get your day started the easy way. Lee and Leslie on your side with weather and traffic on the eight. Only on News Channel 8 today. Final week at Hudson's Furniture for 40 to 60% off. Plus, choose an extra 20% off for cash. Or no interest till 2020. And everyone gets free delivery. Ends Monday at Hudson's Furniture. The biggest deals of the year are at the Hyundai Summer Clearance Event. Clearance pricing on our entire Hyundai lineup. Get up to 5000 in total savings with more luxury, more technology, more safety. Plus, lease a new 2016 Hyundai Elantra for just $139 a month. With America's best warranty, 10 years, 100,000 miles. That's the best in the business. A sale so big, it only happens once a year. The Hyundai Summer Clearance Event at your Suncoast Hyundai dealer. Hey Tampa, Caroline here at Fusilokia of Wesley Chapel. It is the final days of July, our grand opening month. That means there's still time to save on the K900. We do. We've got a few left. $375 a month with zero money down. Plus, included with your purchase of or lease of the K900 or any new Kia or pre-owned vehicle this month, a flat screen TV, a laptop, and a home entertainment system. There's still time to shop. That's the K900. A $55,000 car. Come see us. We'll make you huge. Deal or bad deal. Iran keeps their nuclear facilities. Military sites can go uninspected. Restrictions end after 10 years. Then Iran could build a nuclear weapon in two months. Iran has violated 20 international agreements and is the leading state sponsor of terrorism. Congress should reject a bad deal. We need a better deal. Final week at Hudson's Furniture for 40 to 60% off. Plus, choose an extra 20% off for cash. Or no interest till 2020. And everyone gets free delivery. Ends Monday at Hudson's Furniture. See what everyone's talking about. Tampa Bay's top-rated news app is just a download away. A man in Kentucky is under arrest for shooting a drone, even though the drone was in his yard. William Meredith said it hovered over his fenced-in backyard where his two daughters were sitting outside. He felt the drone got a little too close for comfort, and he wanted to protect his property and privacy. 
it's an invasion of privacy. We were in our own yard. Had he been flying around and never stopped over my house, we wouldn't be having this conversation. We live in a society now where we don't know what these people are doing. We don't know if they're pedophiles looking for kids. We don't know if they're thieves. We don't know if it's ISIS. Meredith was arrested for endangerment and criminal mischief. He is now getting a lawyer to fight those charges. We want to know what you think. Share your opinion on our Facebook page or tweet us at WFLA. The state of Hawaii has reached a $16 million settlement with the company responsible for a 2013 molasses spill. Hundreds of thousands of gallons of molasses spilled into Honolulu Harbor. It's one of the largest settlements for an environmental violation in that state's history. News Channel 8 at 6 is coming up next. And Stacey and Rod are here now with what we're working on.